Hello everyone, I'm Ravana and I'm super excited for this video. Thank you for being here with me. We are on the shopping list video of the 14 day raw vegan challenge. If you want to participate in the challenge, you can do so by subscribing at ravana.com and I will leave the information to all of that in the description of this video. Okay, so in this video, I will give you my four tips that I recommend to succeed in this 14 day raw vegan challenge. Tip number one is to eliminate all the food from your house that you know is going to be tempting. Now, if you're already vegetarian or vegan, this might be like vegan junk food or maybe even raw vegan junk food because when the time comes when you're anxious or depressed or bored, you might be tempted to eat those foods. So it's better to just leave them out. So clean your pantry and just give it away or do whatever you need to do to not have that food in your home. Tip number two is to fill your house with fruits and vegetables by going to the farmer's market. It's gonna be fun. And just seeing all this abundance of color and deliciousness is really going to motivate you to eat more raw fruits and vegetables. And I make it easier for you guys by giving you a shopping list and even giving you the daily meal plans so that eating raw can be almost effortlessly. All you have to do is prepare it and eat it and enjoy it. So tip number two is fill your house with fruits and vegetables. My tip number three is to fill your kitchen with some gadgets that will make eating raw more enjoyable and easier for you. So gadget number one is just a cutting board and a knife. And honestly, if you don't want to buy other gadgets, this is all you need. So just a cutting board and a knife, it's as easy as just cutting a watermelon, just like this. Gadget number two is a high-speed blender. Honestly, when I first started eating raw, smoothies were my favorite, and I still enjoy them, but now it's different. Like, you go through, through different stages. But honestly, if you can get your hands on a high-speed Vitamix blender, and I will put the ones that I recommend in the description of this video as well, I really recommend that you do. So this makes smoothies, it can make dressing, soups, and even ice cream. So gadget number two is a high-speed blender. The third gadget is a juice extractor. Oh my gosh, green juices. I love green juices, beet juices carrot juice it's so good oh and they're so good for you too so for a lot of people that eating greens is kind of hard i really recommend that you get a juice extractor because greens are very important since they are high in minerals like calcium iron things that you need and that honestly make a huge difference in your energy when eating raw so my gadget number three is a juice extractor <laughs> My gadget number four is a food processor and it honestly makes just life in the kitchen much easier. So if you're a little bit more advanced, I really recommend that you get a food processor. This can make anything like ice cream, you can like blend really well dates for desserts, you can shred things really fast, it just makes life easier it's very easy to clean so i just really recommend that you get a food processor if, th if you are thinking about it so gadget number four is a food processor <laughs> gadget number five is a spiralizer it makes noodles zucchini cucumber carrot apples whatever you want and you actually see how the textures in raw foods make a huge difference when it comes to taste and just more enjoyability <laughs> They're very easy to use, they're inexpensive, and I really recommend that you get one. And I will put the link to that in the description of this video as well. So gadget number five is a spiralizer. Finally, gadget number six is a chopper. This is one of my personal favorites, especially when you're making salads or fruit salads. It just makes chopping a lot more easier. It has a lot of shapes, different sizes. My favorite one is the square one. And for example, I love to have apple in my salads and I just simply put in the apple and it just chops it up into little cubes or it's just like 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 like, like little magic <laughs> again it just makes life in the kitchen a lot easier so final gadget number six is a chopper tip number four is to write out your goals 
It's very important for us to be clear on what we want to achieve, especially in this challenge. Do you want to go fully raw? Do you want to go vegan? Do you want to cut out salt? What are your goals? So I recommend that you write down your goals on a piece of paper or on a board or on your phone or wherever you can see them constantly to remind you of that. Another thing is for you to write down red flags. For example, if you go to a store and you know there's this tempting food that you want to eat, well maybe avoid that store or what is it? It's better to be ahead of the game so when temptation comes, you know exactly what to do and you say no. <laughs> so tip number four is write down your goals and your red flags. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm so excited for everyone who's deciding to join this challenge. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting, we're gonna be supporting each other, and it's just baking, eating raw fruits and vegetables more fun. And I'm so excited that the next time we see each other, it's gonna be the first video of the 14-day raw vegan challenge. Yay! <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you guys in a few days. And well, go stock up on your fruits and vegetables. Bye. <laughs>